Hello there, my cosmic kittens and planetary puppies of those who identify with the divine masculine vibe. I'm back with your energy forecast for the week ahead. Though this is timeless, and when you find this, it's the right time for you. Remember, take a resonates, pitch out the rest. If you're drawn to this video, there is messages here for you. Okay. If you have cards, pull along with me. That way you can tap into these influential energies and see how they'll be influencing areas in your life. Love, career, home, and most importantly, you. All right, so let's get to it. The main influential energy that is coming in strong for the Divine Masculine is the sun. And also, all your blood, sweat, and tears, all the decisions you've had to make that have been hard or maybe you've avoided over a very long period of time, especially all the steps you've taken are being rewarded. I did pick up on this uh, during the weekend forecast. And I knew this was coming in over the past couple weeks, but now we're really going to start seeing the rewards. Though some people may not be seeing it quite yet, there's reasons for the delays. It has to do with indirect influences, and we're going to cover that in a bit with the tarot. <clears throat> another thing um, that's very, another, oh, sorry, <laughs> there goes my guides. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Choosing your words wisely. Okay. A lot of you watching this are very powerful when you say things to people, the way you speak. Some of you might be doing podcasts or videos similar to this, or maybe you just speak, you know, um, like an orator, a mediator, talking to people every day, maybe groups of people for some of you. Your words are a lot more powerful, a lot more impactful on people and their lives than you may feel. Yes, you're on path. If this pertains to you, yes, you're on path. Spirit's very strongly saying, and you will hear this this week. You will see how, how you are needed and that you are on path exactly where you're supposed to be. Okay. For others, um, there is this sense of some challenging conversations. This is all about the voice. Okay. Very strong energy talking about how we're talking. Whether it's a clerk at the grocery store or a co-worker or family member, partner, friend. Or even responding to people online. Like through Reels or, you know, uh, TikTok or anything like that. Okay. Has to do with the voice. There's, there's this, this energy, okay, fueled by the sun that's um, putting, when you speak in a passionate manner, negative or positive, it impacts those who hear that, okay, in a big way. You guys have done a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of clearing. And for some of you, small, small percentage watching this, though, there may be a challenging conversation. Um, I've, I'm feeling like uh, the other person, whoever that is, or persons, might be trying to bait you. So be really careful with that. Uh, it might be a part of maybe um, somebody you cut off or walked away from or a situation. Anything, however that pertains to you, okay? Um, be the bigger person. If you, if you just cannot calm down because you're raging, don't say anything. You can, you have the right to not verbally respond. Okay. This is where patience is going to come in. Step back before you react. You've done too much work to allow this petty stuff to get to you, to get you to be enraged or, you know, if that comes up, you walk away, you deal with that. That has to do with you. It's coming up for a reason. Okay. Because you're done with them. They're just trying to do, just trying to hurt you. Okay? But they can't anymore. Because you're not allowing that. You deserve to be happy. You're done serving other people's miseries. Trying to make them happy. Walking on eggshells. That's over. That is over for everybody down here. It's just not flying anymore. And the energies are not supporting that. Okay? It's like sending a prank on somebody and it backfires onto you. That's, that's the energy we're looking at here. Okay. Um, 
psychic abilities being enhanced again, but I feel like this is targeting the Divine Masculine even stronger over this coming week. Okay? Um, some of you may be looking um, to expand your knowledge, uh, learn more about your gifts and what you can do to, um, you know, uh, expand them, work with them, understand them. Uh, some of you may even be uh, maybe researching like classes online or workshops uh, or mentors in that field. Um, seek the wisdom, uh, wisdom and guidance from elders. Okay, um, I do have a message coming through saying be very careful and do your research here. Okay, this is this is where this this is going to come into almost every area for the divine mass. Be meticulous and be patient. I'm telling you now. Yes, we have the sun energy fueling you, but what that they're showing me is it's burning away everything in your way, uh, like sight-wise, like this clarity is coming in. Okay, you can see things like just laser sh laser point. Like that's what they're saying. It's like a laser point. Um, so be meticulous and patient when looking at things, reading things. <laughs> Somebody just said text messages, emailing. Be very, very careful with fine print. So when it, if, for those of you who are looking out there looking for mentors and advisors or workshops and classes, be really careful to your research before you spend the money. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. Now, some of you <laughs> might be in a celebratory mode because you've got all these good blessings coming in. you can't believe it you've taken the steps and all this stuff's coming in Revel uh, revelry and indulgence okay watch for this though okay spirit says watch for the guilt of all this good stuff coming in and wanting to you know kind of um like huh Uh, they said saint complex or something. I don't know. Saint? Is that the word? Um, you know, about feeling guilty about all these blessings and kind of giving them out to everybody. Okay. No, no. <laughs> Spirit's like, no, no. Yes. Celebrate with the people who stayed by your side through all the trial and tribulations. All the self-work you've been through. The people who showed you support. Sure. But Spirit says, you know, keep it in moderation. Okay. Watch for that. You need to still remember balance, uh, you know, make sure your cup is full, overflowing, and then you can share with others, okay? That was a big message. And for others, you might be feeling very frustrated, you know? <clears throat> some some Divine Master are still stuck. They still haven't moved forward. Deer in headlights, finger clenching, <laughs> and wanting to run and escape. But... <laughs> And Spirit's warning about that. Let's get break in there. Let's break it down. Let's do this. Uh, Spirit just said meditation. For those that have been doing the work, you know, you know what your gifts are. You know what you can do. So it's just time to come back. Get with your guides. Your gifts have expanded. It's time to um, work with them now in a different way. All right, let's look at that. Revelry and indulgence spirit. Oh, that's a lot. Sorry, that's way too many spirit. Can we do like one or two, please? Oh, thanks. That was okay. All right. Nine of Wands, recovery. No fight left. <laughs> Stalemate, retreat. Nine of Wands in reverse. Some of you are tired of doing the freaking work. It's like, I'm pooped, man. I'm gonna, I just, I'm, I just need to go, like, and not know, all right, Spirit said, no, you just say it, girl, okay, I'm saying it, um, you might want to revert back to some old pastimes of escapism, whatever that is for you, okay, Spirit's asking you to hold on for just a moment, okay, all right, yes, it's cups in reverse, page of cups in reverse, okay, all right, now, with the Ace of <laughs> Cups in reverse, emptiness, um, I feel like some of you may have just um, maybe you started something new with someone, ignored the red flags. I don't know who that's for. 
okay, for some of you, and got very disappointed, which, you know, can set anyone off, especially after all the work you've done. But, but your intuition was telling you this, okay? This is also about intuition, okay? You know, and sometimes it's hard when the emotions get involved. It can skew your intuitive voice. In fact, it can reduce it down to, you know, loneliness. Some of you are tired of waiting. Where's my Ace of Cups? Where is it? Yes, loneliness. There's nothing. <laughs> There's no shame in that. Trust me. Okay. Feeling empty. Okay. Some of you could be blocked creativity or even blocked intuitive. Uh, you know, blocking your intuition. That can happen. That can happen. When we go down, depression, Ace of Cups in reverse. Uh, this heavy energy is heavy heaviness. So you don't want to feel that anymore. So what do we do? You know, we look for things that are going to pick us up. I don't want to feel like that. And I feel like with those of you that resonates with the Ace of Cups, waiting and waiting, it's like it's depressing and you see it coming, you feel it. So you're like, I'm going to go do something that's going to lift me up. You know, even if it's recreational, okay? Um, be careful with that, okay? Just don't go overboard. Okay. Page of Cups in reverse. I feel like these two are tied for somebody. Okay. Maybe someone offered their cup and there was a rejection. Okay. It's like, well, why the fuck did I bother then? You know? And then we were followed up with this. That's it. I'm done. That was my last battle. Uh-uh. I thought it's supposed to be different. It's supposed to be different. But Spirit said the red flags were there. Okay. Some of you may have went or tried to offer a new cup or a new start to a past person. But Spirit says that's not, that wasn't your path. That wasn't your person. You know, then for other people, blazing in with the Knight of Wands, you know, being all, I look, everything's going my way. I'm feeling good. My creativity's flowing. Yeah, you know, this is in the upside over here in the Divine Masculine. You know, feeling good. Your confidence is up. You just feel like you're on top of the world as you have well deserved and earned for yourself. You're feeling that fire in your heart and you're ready to go forward. Just be careful with that. Okay. This is the week where these things are going to turn around. Give them a chance. Give it a chance first. Just wait a little longer. You know, some of you, a lot of you are not going to have to wait that long. If you just hang in there just a little bit. There's a lot of us waiting. <laughs> There's a lot. Divine masculine and feminine. These are energies never gender. Okay. A lot of us are feeling this. Okay. A lot of water here. And I know it's fire and water. It's about channeling those two elements. The positive aspects of it. And sometimes it's hard. When we go down, we go down. We're down in the Mariana Trench. Okay? We go, we go down. Sometimes we have to, but when we're down, we're supposed to be looking at what it is. Really what it is. Then once we see it, we go back up. And it's hard. It's not easy. It's not easy. This is why I feel that for those that are experiencing that, maybe a rejection from your cup, knowing, especially if you went back to a past person, okay? You need to tap in here. Guides say the signs were there, okay? You've not been abandoned, you're not being punished, okay? Because, as I was talking, magician. You have everything you need. You always have. 
okay? And if not, if you're missing an element, it's coming in this week, okay? This is a, a strong energy for the Divine Masculine this week, fueled by the sun, okay? Yeah, <laughs> it's interesting. Thanks, Spirit. Water, air, earth, fire. All these elements are coming in for you to work with. Power of your voice, your intuitive abilities, looking at the fine print, being patient. Slow and steady wins the race, I tell my granddaughter. And the sun being fueled, your soul being fueled to move forward. You have it all. And for those of you struggling right now, there is an energy coming in. Some of you are going to have set, the spirit guides are coming in and working in the um, a subconscious mind while we're sleeping. Okay. Uh, if that's news to you, um, you can just connect in with your guides before you go to bed. Just say, hey, can you come in through the back door? You know, help me work this out. Be specific. Like I, I just, you know, I need clarity on this. Something's blocking me. I know I'm blocking something. Go in that way. Let's work it out while I'm sleeping and make sure it seeps through the conscious mind so I have a clarity of understanding of that. It, trust me, you'll wake up next morning in the know. Okay. We do have this energy of strength, inner, uh, inner strength, was it bravery, compassion, focus. Focus. I can't make that up. The Wheel of Fortune. Change, destiny, a turning point, and good luck. I feel like <clears throat> there's some of you already in this position, okay? But now things are really going to get moving to next level. That's why I want you to be very careful. It's like don't celebrate quite just yet or don't throw everything. It's like, woohoo, this great blessing because there's more coming. Hang on. Before you go nuts. Before you make that big outrageous purchase. Because you can now. Hold off just a little bit. I do feel that very strongly. Okay. And for those of you. Nine of Wands. Ace of Cups and Page of Cups in reverse. We have a big turnaround coming in. That's why I say hang in there. This energy is coming in for you. Okay. You're going to see the reasons why. You're going to be glad it's like this whole clarity is kind of a, a flip in the mind, okay? When you see everything exactly how it is and why it's good that you <laughs> missed that boat. I'm telling you right now, that was the wrong boat. That boat had holes in it, rats. Just, no. It was not very seaworthy. In fact, that boat only steers straight towards any icebergs, okay? That's, this is what we're talking about over here, okay? Honoring your intuition. But we have to get through the fe block of fear, okay? And you will. With all these energies coming in to support you divine masking, you will. You will. Just got to be open. Start getting into your stuff over here. Start getting into your... your. Right. I, I just have to say, because uh, I feel like I skipped that, I need to really, like... Our gifts have evolved. They're not the same. Psychometry is not the same, okay? Any of the six clears have went into levels. Even I was like, really? What is this now? I've been doing this for over 35 years. I was born with these gifts, all of them. Okay, it's not easy. <laughs> and I cannot believe, I'm still like, there's still some new things for me and I'm like, oh, why am I not this way? It's not that way anymore. I was having such a hard time. I didn't want to meditate and connect and find out. I thought it was just me being depressed or something. I'm like, is it me? Trust me, go in there, meditate, start connecting. You're going to be very surprised. You might feel like you've been blocked, and you're really not. It's just the, the, the abilities have evolved. 
you know, it's beyond us. Like, <laughs> all right. Queen of Wands energy coming in, okay, uh, which is backing up the strength card here, okay. But we want to utilize and really, really grab onto and feed the good parts of fire, okay. This is what Spirit's saying, okay. The confidence, the energy, enthusiasm to get things done you've been putting off, yes, yes, you know. Uh, but that confidence looks like a very strong foundation for you this week. If you've been feeling a little shaky or maybe your self-worth has been a little down, uh, it's almost like you'll be recognizing your self-worth. You don't need it validated outside yourself. This is, this is why it, this is why this happens over here. Great about all those people outside. It's you. You're amazing. You're beautiful. You're creative. You're strong. You're funny. You're beautiful. I don't give a fuck what your mirror says. <laughs> because it's just your brain interpreting memory. Uh, the image dysmorphia. Body dysmorphia is a big one. This has been coming up for a lot of people. Can we get past it? It takes work, but yes. In the inner, I feel like it's almost like your, your true inner selves are coming to the physical. Coming out. And you'll see that. You're going to feel that. Step into that. Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so we do have these opportunities that are coming in for those of you who have been blocked or delayed. Spirit's not leaving you hanging. Okay? But once this comes in, utilize it. You have everything you need to get this. Okay? You, res you deserve it. Um, it could be for a business, a job opportunity, or... Um, you know, a, a job offer, a contract for some of you. Uh, money is coming, but this is more about a solid, truthful, honest, long-term down the road offer. Okay? Brand new beginning for your brand new path here. And no, you can't see what's on the other side of that, but know that it's good because this is going to, that's just the beginning. Okay, your ten of pentacles, nine of pentacles. You've already sowed the seeds for this. That's why it's coming in now. It couldn't come in before there were other things, especially if you ignored your intuition, you know. Okay. We do have the King of Pentacles in reverse. Um, remember I was talking about some of you might be having challenging um, conversations with people. Uh, this is someone who got just... I feel like he got his ass handed to him. Uh, this is a energy, not gender, sorry. Um, but this person is um, maybe have taken a money loss, lost their job, lost their position since the king's in reverse. Um, this could be someone who uses blackmail, talk shit, corruption, corrupted person, a greedy person. Uh, this is what's fueling them to come towards you. This could be in business. This could be a father figure or someone older. Uh, this could be a friend. Okay, this is someone who had everything and lost it. Okay. Um, and there you are thriving. So be really careful. Or maybe in their eyes, it looks like you're thriving. You know how people think. They think you have, they think you're just sitting pretty and you're like, look, I'm going through some shit too, mofo. And they're like, no, you're not. Da, da, da. So <laughs> don't feed that. You have your. Uh, I, okay, somebody is going to have this opportunity to walk out that door and shut it, and you're done. Take that. Be the bigger person. Please don't feed this. It's going to bite you in the ass. Okay? Big time. All right. Yeah, just don't give that person. Mm -mm. No, 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 no. Okay. Now, <laughs> nine of cups. Okay, so <laughs> accomplishment. Remember I was talking about the power of your voices? Acknowledgement, uh, feeling like okay, I'm in, I am where I'm supposed to be. It's a beautiful, overwhelming love energy here. Okay, it's also about opening up for some of you to your intuition and going, I get it, there I am. Okay, look, you know, being proud of yourself, proud of yourself, heart fulfillment. 
Okay, wealth in every sense of the aspect of that word. There's a turnaround coming in for everybody. And for those who are, have moved through their blockages and starting to see these blessings, it's, gonna, it's time for you to move forward more. Okay, as new things come in. As we have the Page of Wands writing in confident, uh, maybe new journey. Some of you are going to be invited uh, to go <laughs> maybe to the desert. It is hot out here. But the, <laughs> some of you might be invited to Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, um, uh, somewhere outside for some of you. And being fearless and enthusiastic. Uh, some of you might be getting... Um, <sighs> some of you might be invited on a hike. You know, out somewhere where, you know, in a hot, you know, like I said, the, out in the desert or somewhere where it's open. There's some mountains there. Be very careful and be very mindful, uh, Spirit saying, you know, make sure you, you've got all your, you know, emergency equipment just in case. And if your intuition says something ain't right, you know what to do with that, okay? <laughs> but I do feel like um, there may be someone that's coming in that it, they're just finally going, I'm going to do this. I'm going to come forward. So uh, be open for these messages. I do feel this is a positive page of wands. Uh, this could be, remember I was talking about the voices, hearing from people. They hear your voice or heard you speak or heard a reel uh, where maybe you don't even have a real popular, you know, uh, reels or social media account, but yet you're making an impact. And you're going to hear that. Yes, you're supposed to be doing that. Yes, trust me. Spirit's coming in a very strong, strong way to make it very clear for all the divine masculines. Okay? Keep going. Keep going. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, of course, we have the Empress in reverse. But I feel like this has to do with outer uh, influences. Uh, not for everybody, but... Um, uh, maybe it was someone who was dependent on you uh, that maybe you cut off. Maybe it was a financial thing. Maybe they were just around, hanging around for the money. Um, maybe they tried to pull things out of their Pandora's bag to stay around longer to ensure that. Uh, it could be someone who's very smothering um, and, and, and very nosy. Nosy. Even if you've been apart from this person for a while, they are all up in your stuff. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> these two should get together oh god go live on an island um like i said there's like one last step now that you for those of you who are feeling good and moving forward and you know everything's chugging along and you're doing you're happy there are still people out there who just are refusing to move forward both divine feminine and masculine so, okay energies and they're pissed but here, the thing is, is that they're pissed at themselves. Because they don't think they can do what you're doing, what you're doing. But see, they can. All right, let's get some guidance for the Divine Masculine Spirit Guides. Oh, after this, I'm going to pull your fortune cookie cards. So think of a number, one, two, or three. Spirit, I gotta go diving. I'll be right back. Okay, what do we go? Oh, sorry guys. Wow, this is some professional, huh? Sorry guys. <laughs> Quieting the mind. Remember, I was talking about meditation. This is for everybody. Okay, if you quiet the mind, you're gonna get your answers. If you quiet the mind, you're gonna get your clarity. Just start five minutes in the morning before you go anywhere. Do it in the shower. Okay? Just focus. All you have to do to quiet the mind is like, all right, if you're in the shower, focus only on what you're doing. Don't let your mind start thinking about stuff you got ahead of you. Or, ah, oh, I should do this. Don't worry about that. Be in the shower. Why are you in there? To wash your, your bits and pieces, okay? <laughs> That's all that should be going on in there. Okay, five minutes before you get going, five minutes before you go to bed. You'll get your answers, you'll get your clarity, you'll connect in 
You'll be able to understand the signs. You'll be under, uh, able to understand your language with your guides and your guides language to you. Okay, you'll understand this more clearer. Then you'll see what is you, what is truth, and what is the bullshit that comes out of your head. Okay, that's going to make it very, very clear when you quiet your mind. You'll hear that the voices are different. Okay, with the thoughts. That way you know, is that me? Or is that the past? Is that my guides? You'll know. Just got it. All you have to do is practice. Five minutes, guys. Just give it five minutes. One more spirit. Oh, there it is. Yep, there we go. Higher view. Everything becoming very clear. We're going to see everything in a higher perspective. Dreams are being um, enhanced even more. Lucid dreams. Um, I feel like more and more people are going to start remembering them. Okay, there are things going on in there. Information being given. Okay, in dreams and dream work. So if you have a real wild dream, write it down or do a voice memo on your phone if you got to, you know, get up and go and but do that, <laughs> okay? Um, and I was saying the sun's energy is burning everything away. It's almost like this angel's coming in on this owl and they're just burning away all the bullshit that's in, in front of us so we can see things, okay? From a higher perspective. Okay, <clears throat> for those of you going through this stuff, this needs to come to the surface, willing release, okay? You might feel broken open. All this stuff's like affecting your head, like you're, and maybe you're having more brain spin outs, you know, um, brain tornadoes, okay, uh, like eight of uh, swords energy, just, you're stuck in there. This is going to help too, quieting the mind, seeing the truths. But most importantly, you need to allow yourself to feel so it can release, avoiding it, running to other excesses or even people, you know it's you're still going to come back to you it's still going to be there you know and spirit's trying to kind of squeeze you open there so you can release that so you can have all the things that you feel like you're being denied okay so if you've been seeing themes of things coming up there's a reason why it needs it's pointing things out for you okay one two or three you guys for your fortune cookies for this week and thank you so much for watching please don't forget to hit like share or and subscribe if you want hit that notification bell so you know when i post your videos every week number one wisdom to focus on the past is to lose the future heed advice from an older person which will allow you to move on i'm not going to tell you how old i am okay but i am older than you <laughs> What were we seeing here? Seek wisdom and guidance from elders. I don't even think I need to go into this. What you seek, you will find through another. Okay. All right. Number two. Be open. I feel like a lot of you, it's going to be uh, your guides. Okay. Meditation is going to get you there, I'm telling you. The right mentors, remember, be meticulous when you're doing your research. Or maybe there's people you want to reach out to. Just send them a message. If your intuition keeps pointing them out to you, then you need to contact them. Number two, sexuality. All right. Existing relationships could find new passion and heightened sexual attraction opportunities for marriage and good family life are strong but if single hold on beware of temptation that could lead to trouble a child will also bring great joy some of you are going to be surprised uh, to hear about a, a pregnancy um, and remember I was talking about singles especially beware be aware <laughs> okay Trust that beautiful intuition, okay? Um, I feel that there is going to be renewed passion for those of you in your relationships. And though I do feel like uh, for singles out there, there is going to be more of a, uh, a libido heightening too. Okay, just be careful where you're sending that energy or putting that energy into, okay? Let me put it that way. 
because the libido and the heart your soul have two totally different energetic frequencies though they can you know fuel each other when you're with the right person so you want to save that energy for the right person because you know why you won't be as drained afterwards you'll be ready to go again anyway okay number three <sighs> opportunities hello are you focusing there we go a stranger is about to change your life exciting times and plenty of action plus a special family reunion looks likely so maybe you aren't expecting to see a <laughs> certain family member and you know it doesn't have to be blood related maybe it's someone you haven't seen for a long time and surprise here they come uh, a, a stranger like an opportunity coming in I'm telling you guys for those of you who had been like waiting especially for that you know you look i did the thing i i got sucked it up and and decided to quit procrastinating and went for what i felt and nothing's happening well here it comes and it's going to be someone new someone you never talked to okay that's why i feel very strongly okay it's coming in for you number three be open be ready but remember even even though it's going to sound good we do have an ace of pentacles kind of coming through i feel like they're tied still want to be meticulous and patient with any deals and offers that come your way even if it is in the romantic sense on that note guys thank you for hanging with me i do appreciate you all to the moon and back you guys have a fantastic week you got this dm strong